New York's wine industry brings in more than $6 billion each year. It provides thousands of jobs and tourists are eager to sip a nice glass of Riesling or any other local specialty from wineries all over the state, including the Southern Tier. But this tiny pest, known as the spotted lanternfly, threatens the industry. It's just a matter of time. Sam Filler with the New York Wine and Grape Foundation says so far the infestation hasn't hit New York's major wine grape growing regions yet. But there's been sightings all over, including the southern tier. It's definitely a concern because the experience in Pennsylvania is the spotted lanternfly totally decimated um, vineyards that had to be replanted and it's not a inex inexpensive proposition. It's also a threat, not just to the wine industry, but you know the juice grape industry is really big in New York as well. So there's a lot of um, Concord grape growers in Western New York, especially in Chautauqua County. So there's over 20,000 acres of grapes planted there. And those are definitely more threatened than some of the wine grape areas of the state because they share multiple borders with Pennsylvania where the infestation has been really bad. Senator Chuck Schumer is urging the USDA to use roughly 200 million in a specialty crops pest program to bolster the state's efforts to prevent the insect from spreading. And he's asking for an extra 22 million in the upcoming federal budget to deal with invasive pests like the spotted lanternfly. So they really have a lot to lose if spotted lanternfly shows up and, you know, destroys their vineyards. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.